In this video, we'll be finding a calculator approximation for circular functions. Our directions are to find a calculator approximation for each circular function. And our first one is just a basic sine of 3.42. Now notice that this argument is not degrees, because if you wish degrees, you need to put the degree symbol. So when we see just the 3.42, we know that we're dealing with radians. So on our calculator, we need to um, check the mode and make sure we're in radians. So we'll quit that. And now we want the sine of 3.42. And that just gives us a negative 0.2748. And our next one, we're asked to find the secant of 5.6041 radians. Now on our calculator, notice that we don't have secant. All we have is sine, cosine, tangent, and then the inverse trig functions. So we need to do a, a little manipulation first. We know that the secant is reciprocal of cosine. So this then can be rewritten as 1 over the cosine of that angle. So in order to calculate the secant of an angle, we need to actually do a 1 divided by the cosine of that angle. So 1 divided by the cosine of 5.6041 gives me 1.2851. So on this one, again, this is a reciprocal of sine. So I need to rewrite this as 1 divided by the sine of this angle. And it's in radians. So negative 2.7335. divided by this sign. So we have a negative 2.5198.